Hi, we're going to look now at the non-human players in the two-person game of 63. Let's go. In the two-person game, the humans play as green versus red. Yellow and blue are both non-human players. In the setup phase, after placing their own pawns and the liberal pawns, green and red each place a single blue pawn onto the board before normal play starts. Green and red players choose on their turns whether to play as themselves, as yellow, or as blue. Liberals can still be converted by red or green, or by the red or green players taking a turn as blue. Blue pawns, unlike the liberals, cannot be converted. Non-human victory in the two-person game. In the two-person game, either yellow or blue can win against the humans in the same way as yellow in the three-player version. So blue could theoretically win like this, with all their bases on Shrewsbury, four of their ten pawns also on Shrewsbury, and just their remaining six pawns in Wales. Non-human winning draw. In the two-player game, either yellow or blue can be part of a winning draw with either human player. As with any other winning draw, the human player offering the draw must have all four of their bases on different cities in Wales and cannot have any pawns on Shrewsbury. The non-human player must have more pawns on the board than any other player, whether human or non-human. It does not matter where those pawns are. The offer of a winning draw from a human player will automatically be accepted. Neither yellow nor blue can offer a winning draw. And that's it. You now know all about playing with the non-human players in the two-player version of 63.